I almost believed in the adage provided if I hadn't known any better. But my dear friends, I have been teaching art appreciation course for more than 15 years now and I can say that I have seen it all and stating that it was a struggle is an understatement. Why you may ask? Well, because my dear friends, learning and in turn teaching about art is just like scratching the surface. And in reality, it is the easiest part of the endeavor. The more difficult one would have to be the act of convincing and persuading. Convincing the students that it is worth their time studying about art and persuading them that there is something in store for them in appreciating it. But to be honest, I must admit that there are times when I also ask myself, is it really worth their time? Is there really something in store for them? So, after realizing that I have myself to be convinced and persuaded first, I decided to study about art in New York City, and I think it was the best decision of my life so far. Well, my experience in the Big Apple taught me countless things, but the best lesson I learned was realizing that I know nothing and will never know everything. And in every museum I was able to visit, and in every painting my eyes marveled upon, I always end up discovering and learning something new and something more. While studying at MoMA, I was able to have the chance to visit the museum every single day. And I have seen this painting by Vincent Van Gogh countless of times already, The Starry Night. And yet, my dear friends, every single time, it never failed to make me feel emotional. I have crossed the Brooklyn Bridge almost every day, but believe it or not, I always gasp upon reaching the other side. I was very lucky to have the opportunity to watch a number of Puccini's operas, but you know what, my dear friends, I still feel overwhelmed every curtain call. So, I can say that every time I experience art, it seems always new, and it feels that I never got enough. And I can certainly say that studying in New York and experiencing the art forms that this city has to offer changed my perspectives not only as an art tab teacher, but as a person as well. Well, I came back to the Philippines thinking that I had solved the puzzle, but soon enough, reality started to bite. I am now convinced that it is worth their time studying about art and there is something in store for them in appreciating it. But how am I supposed to make them understand this if the very first question they would ask of me would have to be the need of this subject to their particular field of study? Hmm. In my early years of being an art app teacher, I never failed to find connections between our lessons in art app and their lessons in their particular fields of study. And it was very difficult because if you would think about it, how can you relate the music of Vivaldi, for example, to anatomy? <laughs> and there are times that the connection I made seemed unnatural and forced. But during those times, I couldn't care less because my fear of my subject being perceived as something irrelevant overshadowed anything else. Up until I realized that no connection had to be made because the primary aim of the humanities, particularly the art appreciation course, is not only to make the students better professionals in their fields of study, but ultimately to make them the best human beings they can ever be. And because of this epiphany, I now have a proper response to students who are asking why art appreciation is part of their curriculum. I guess I just need to emphasize that before they became students and before they become professionals, they are human beings first. And if this statement won't convince them, I am not any more sure what will. Being human is the guiding light of this course. That is why the discussions were written in a conversational tone. Every lesson attempts to be less condescending and more open to the ideas of the students themselves, 
which prompts a dialogue between the course and the learners. In addition, the topics were introduced not as imperious definitions, but unlatched perspectives which embrace free discourse and encourage further exploration. This course also situates Philippine art in a global standpoint. In every lesson, there is a recurring dialogue between art in the worldview stance and art in the Filipino perspective. By having this feature, students would no longer feel that Philippine art is far removed from other artistic movements and in turn would appreciate Philippine art even more. Well, ultimately, this course is not a guaranteed road to expertise in art, which according to Hansen and Hansen is open to anyone who wants it. But hopefully, this course makes the students more open-minded and more capable in absorbing new experiences and route to understanding and in turn appreciating notable pieces of art. And so, my dear friends, let me welcome you formally to our Art Appreciation class. My name is Mr. Padilla, and I will be your course facilitator for this semester. If you have more questions about this course, please do watch our Frequently Asked Questions video. The link is posted below. Once again, welcome to our Art Appreciation course, and see you guys soon. Bye, everybody!